Welcome back. Now, one more thing I want to address is that you can always, if you baked the Metablob hyperterrain into an actual object, you can always, of course, um, export that object to work with it in other 3D packages like 3ds Max, Maya, whatever, maybe even ZBrush to add more uh, precise features to it. So um, that is of course possible, but you have to keep in mind when um, baking the uh, hyperterrain into the object that the uh, polygon count um, can have a significant impact on the performance when you load this object into another 3D tool. So um, you might have to think about not going for the most polygons possible, but um, have to kind of think about how to how you want to approach this uh, uh, how how you want to approach working further on this object. So and even if we have a mesh decimation option within view that normally works pretty well, um, let's try this out. We in this case will end up having holes in the mesh for some reason. I really don't know why this is happening but um, in this case it does so if you convert your uh, meta blob or bake your meta blob into polygons you have to in advance think about how you want to use this uh, this object further and um, always be be careful with the with the polygon count so this as an additional info on how to use these uh, hyperterrain objects. So again, have fun experimenting and hope to hope you will be able to create some really good really good artwork with this stuff. Thank you.